There were no panic panties this time, but I still have my old ones. All right, it's airport shopping time. Let's see what we can find at the airport that's useful or unusual. I'm so glad I don't need this anymore. Most of us while traveling usually get to the airport a little bit early and if you're like me, I take that time to kind of browse around and see what the offerings are and to see if there's any little nugget that might make its way into my carry-on or personal item that might make my travel adventure a little easier. And in today's video, I'm going to go over some of the good, unusual, and bad things that I have found recently at the airport on my travel adventures. I just brought a few things home because I pack carry-on only and I just couldn't get a lot into my bags. But let's go through all the things that I did buy and see some of the things I didn't buy and find out what I brought home. Although air travel can be stressful, my best way to stop the stress is to get there early and to take that little bit of extra time to browse some of the things they have at the airport. Each airport is unique in what they carry and it kind of depends on the stores that they have available, but I was surprised some of the great things I was able to find on my last trip through three different airports. Beyond your basic toiletries and food that you find at every airport, some airports offer some unique things that make great gifts, or things that you'll need on your destination in case you forgot anything, or things that you're going to want to bring back to use on your next travel adventure, so take the time to scope them out. I'm so glad I don't need this anymore. All right, these are my best from this recent travel adventure that I did. This is my airport shopping travel haul. So let's go through everything that I have on this table and find out the good, the bad, and the not so good. First things I found were these right here. These are to test and to help with a urinary tract infection. This caught my eye because recently in this household, we had a bout of that that was pretty bad. And I was thinking, I'm so glad we weren't traveling when that happened, but it was good to know that I was able to find something like this to be able to test and to help with pain. What I like about the test strips is it says here, it's the same test that doctors use, easy to read results, and they has been clinically tested to be able to work. And inside of here are three tests to test for urinary tract infection. And then the other box here is called UTI pain relief. And, um, I can't read the active ingredient, phenazpondrodine hydrochloride, something like that. Um, it's a urinary tract analgesic. I didn't even know they made something like that. So it's a great thing if you're getting that pain for a urinary tract infection. Again, just enough to get you over till hopefully you get over it or you get to a doctor. This next thing is something I see at every single airport, but I wanted to bring it up because I actually used it. Um, this is called Goodbye Stress and it has GABA and L-theanine and lemon balm in it. Now I will tell you, I took this and it knocked me out. Not only that night, but the next day I felt a little woozy and drowsy. So, you know, everyone's a little bit different with what they can take, but boy, if you need to be knocked out on a long flight, this might be a great thing to have. Um, I don't know, it just really, I, even the next day I felt a little bit kind of woozy and a little bit weird. So I would only use this if I was doing like a really long haul flight or something like that. So that was a great thing to have. Another one that they had there was something called um, a dream patch and it has melatonin, hops, valerian and black peppercorn in it. I didn't feel really anything with this, but of course, you know, after having that, maybe I was, you know, my body was not as sensitive, but for some individuals, this might be a good thing. You're not ingesting it. It's a patch that you put on your body and that will help you to maybe get some rest or to reduce some anxiety. If you're a little bit of a stressful flyer, this is good to have. And the next thing I found was something called run gum. And boy, did I need that after taking this because it knocked me out so much. But this has caffeine in it and vitamin B6, vitamin B12, caffeine and taurine. So it's gonna 
pump you right up if you need that. So this is a great thing to have um, if you are going to need to be recovering from taking something like this or you've had a long flight and you need to be up and ready to go. This was a great thing to find at the airport. I've shown you guys this before. Now, I bought mine on Amazon, but this was at the airport and all the different varieties of scents that they have. And it's a hand sanitizer that's refillable. I love this. I love the slim profile. As you can see here, this fits nicely into a pocket or a pair of pants, uh, a pair of pants. <laughs> fits nicely into your pocket in your pants or your purse. Um, I like this scent. This is bergamot, but they have like three other scents and they have a refill packet, which is great so that you're, you know, it's not a single use thing. And another one that I found is this one, which is a little bit of a spray hand sanitizer as well. And the reason why I bought this is because it's refillable. I can put pretty much any liquid hand sanitizer in this and use it. So I, I did like this as well. Um, also, if I wanted to reuse this for something else other than hand sanitizer, it's always good to have a little spray bottle with you. So I, I like this. So I bought this at the airport as well. Next section I'm going to cover is hygiene. And, you know, you find all kinds of little hygiene things and you know, travel size things at the airport, but some of these are unique and I wanted to bring them up as things I found at the airport. One was this, it's called Ursa Major Facial Essential Wipes. I thought these were interesting. It's four in one. So it is a clean, exfoliate, soothe and hydrate wipe. It might be your all in one. That might be all you need. If you need to just kind of freshen up after a long flight or you've taken a red eye flight or something, this might be good to have. They're in little individual packets. So that way, if you only want to take one or two with you, it's great to have. Um, for those of you who are like me and like to have little packets of things around, one of these in your purse or in your bag might be a great thing for a flight. So a great thing just to clean up your face and uh, just your neck and everything after a long flight. The next things that I have here are dental things and they're just unusual. That's why I bought them. And the first thing I found was something called Traveling Panda. And these actually came in a box, but I, I actually opened up the box so I could see exactly what was in it and it got kind of torn up. Um, this is a set of, I'm gonna open this up and show you. It is a traveling bamboo toothbrush, a small little bamboo toothbrush that you can see is really tiny. Um, it has little natural charcoal bristles. So this is a biodegradable bamboo handle with charcoal infused bristles, BPA free, eco-friendly. If you need to brush on the go and you can put it right back in this bag, it's resealable, which is nice. And then it came with some little toothpaste tabs which I thought was really nice so that you kind of had, uh, you know, a set of something to go and they're just little tiny toothpaste tabs. They just come right like that. And it's also in a resealable bag. So if you have forgotten your toothbrush or something, you want to be a little more ecologically friendly. These two things are going to be able to get that for you. I thought these were really cute. I found some other things at different airports. So this was another dental floss. Here, this comes in a little glass vial so that it's more eco-friendly with a metal top. And it is, if I can read here, I believe it's made with no chemicals. This floss glides smoothly between your teeth to help promote removal of plaque and bacteria. It's plastic free, it's refillable, it's compostable. Um, and then I think, I'll see if I can find it on Amazon to get the refills for this. So that is great. And then there was some floss that I thought was any, it's called Anywhere Floss. I thought that was interesting. Um, it's natural silk floss. And what I like too, is that it's an individual little packet. So if you wanna stick one in your purse or in your wallet, because you've gone out to the restaurant and you just need to get to the bathroom and floss some food out, this is gonna work out really great. It's just a tiny little thing, but inside of here is a little bit of floss. Let's see if I can get this open. And you'll see here a little bit of floss, just enough to get you through. Wow, it's got some stuff on it. I guess we can pull that off of there. But now you have some floss to floss your teeth. So you can add that to your traveling panda thing here and your anywhere floss would be a great thing to have with you. This is so thin it would just fit in your wallet or anything. So another great little travel item I'll see if I can find all of these things on Amazon to see if it's something that we can uh, 
get to you guys if you can't get to an airport and get some of these things. And then there was another thing of little toothpaste tablets. This is, um, again, it's made by the same company that does the floss and clean ingredients and it's just a tiny little thing of toothpaste tablets. Let me see how many it has in here. This just has four, so you could buy, if you're gonna be there for a week, buy a few of these. Whoopsie, come back here. Um, but again, in an emergency, or you want something on the plane that's just small for you to clean up with, this is a great little thing to have. So those are some of my favorites for cleaning up. And then I have a couple, I'm gonna to get to this last, and I'll tell you why in a minute, but let's get to a couple other things that I have in here. One is, I've shown you guys this before, and I have one, but I found it at the airport, and this is a little tiny stand for your phone. So this basically just pops up out of here. This sets it at the different angles, and you just put your phone right in here. And that is a great little, if you are someone who wants a phone stand, you wanna watch something on the plane, you can see this is about as thin as a credit card. It fits into a credit card slot in your wallet or a pocket, so something nice and thin. And if you're a minimalist, light traveler, this weighs next to nothing. A great thing to have if you need a tiny little uh, phone stand while you're traveling. The next thing I have is this little bag right here. This is a silicone bag that's waterproof, completely waterproof. And what I loved about it was that it's completely waterproof. And what I keep in here now are my electronics when I'm traveling. Um, I keep my cords and things I need to charge in here because that way, um, a few weeks ago, I had my electronics in my everyday carry bag and I put my water bottle in and it wasn't the normal water bottle that I carry most of the time and it leaked in my bag and the bag's waterproof so it kept all the water inside which means it got my electronics wet. And I ruined a like 50 or $60 battery, things like that. So um, now I keep it in here. This is completely waterproof. This is also great if you're gonna go to the beach and you wanna keep your phone and keep you know sand and water out of it. This is a great thing to have. So um, it has a little strap if you wanna carry it around as a little clutch or something like that. But I keep all my electronics in this and that way I know they're gonna stay dry and not be completely um, destroyed by an empty water bottle being dumped into my bag. All right, this next thing is a brass straw, which I thought was kind of nice. Um, I like that it was brass and it, it telescopes out and you'll be able to put that in your drink. Now it comes with a little brush that also telescopes out so that you can get in here and get this clean to make sure there's no, you know, something weird building up inside of your straw. It did not come with this. This is a little um, silicone tip that I put on uh, my straws so that um, for some reason, sometimes when I have metal um, near my mouth, I'll get a cold sore or something. So I like to have something like this. It also extends it and makes it a little bit longer for a taller drink. This also makes it nicer if my grandkids or someone want to drink, there's not metal against their teeth. This has a nice little silicone, so this is separate, but I thought the little brass, um, you know, straw was nice to have, just, you know, you don't want plastic straws all over. Now they're saying that the paper straws aren't any good because the chemicals that allow them to stay, you know, from disintegrating in your drink are not good for you. So this comes in a little set that looks just like this, and I just keep my little silicone thing um, on the end of this here, and that way it just stays in and I have my whole set ready to go. I now keep this in my little kitchen in a bag, um, my travel kitchen in a bag. I keep this in here now. And if you wanna see what's in that travel kitchen in a bag, that video is up here and I probably should do a new one soon because I do change things out every once in a while, but this is a new addition. And speaking of being able to drink, this is another great thing. This is a pop open cup and it's great. It has its own little silicone straw, which I thought was nice and it pops completely open. If you're having hot drinks, this will be able to go on here to keep your hands from burning. And then it has a nice screw on lid and this keeps things from spilling out. And then if you want to go ahead and add a straw, then you can put this in 
or if you don't want silicone, add this in. And I like this because I can have hot or cold drinks in here and it collapses right back down, stores everything right in the cup. So I thought this was a great little idea, a little addition to um, being able to add to a small little, uh, you know, kitchen in a bag or something like that. This fits right on the bottom, the screws right on top, and it becomes a nice little um, cup that also fits nicely in a cup holder of a car, so another great addition. The next thing you'll see is this right here, which is the towel that is covering my table. And in all honest truth, I did not buy that towel at the airport because I looked it up and it was a lot cheaper online by like seven or eight dollars. But then I was researching online about towels and I got this one for like nine bucks. So I can buy like five or six of these for the price of that towel that we saw in the actual, you know, airport. So it's not quite as thick as the other towels, like my Tima towel, it's not gonna compare it in thickness, but if you just want like a thin towel that you can use as a wrap or something, you know, at the beach or something that's absorbent, this is great. And this was like $8.99. Just wanted to show you that yes, you can get towels like that at the airport. I thought it was outrageously expensive. I think it was 53 or $54. And I can get this one for like nine bucks. So, you know, pick and choose carefully when you're at the airport. All right, this next thing is one of those things that I bought. It seemed like such a great idea, such a great idea until I tried to use it. And then I thought, who in the world thought this was a good idea? Because I'm about ready to strangle someone right now. It was a horrible idea. It was a great concept. I don't think they pulled that off very well. Um, it's a set that comes with these little toothbrush sets that actually have a little tube that you can refill with toothpaste. And they actually give you, and it doesn't come in this. I, I tore the box, the, the pad, I just kept it in here. They give you a little set here to help you fill your toothpaste. So you have these different little things that go on here and this screws on to the end of your toothpaste. And then that supposedly will ooze out of here and go into here. Um, I, I, all I know is I was squeezing like the Incredible Hulk and I couldn't get any toothpaste in here very easily. And it all started coming out all over here and all over the top. And then I was just wasting a bunch of toothpaste and getting really frustrated. I, I, they have a couple of different sizes here. I tried both. I just gave up. I eventually got some into a little, a little one like this um, in here, but the amount of work that it took for me to get this in here for the little bit of toothpaste, I'd rather just use the toothpaste tabs and be done with it. Like I said, I think it was a good concept, but boys did some few choice words come out of my mouth when I was trying to do this. So it was one of those great concept, not something I would buy. So if you see this at the airport and you're looking for a challenge, this is for you. All right, so now's your time to tell me of all the things I've shown you, which was your favorite that you're like, oh, I, would, I might buy that. That might be something I would buy. And for those of you travelers out there, put in the comments below, what is the most unusual and the most useful thing that you have bought at an airport that you're so glad that you found? Put those in the comments. I'd like to see what those things are. I'll also try to link as much of this as I can, if I can find it on Amazon, in the video description. So those of you who can't get out to the airport to get some of these things, I'll put those in the link below. Well, I wanna thank you for joining me on that shopping spree today. And remember to juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple, try to pack carry on only. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.